I think I'll do some with the stroke. Right here is the stroke. Uh, I'm going to stroke a, a line around the shape. I'm going to go with the outside of the line. Do two pixels. So if you want to use part of this for something, you can trim it and do whatever you want. You want to add straight lines. Let's do another layer. Have a straight line. So you can copy like a curve here. And part of the problem with a lot of stuff is you can't really, uh, let me think while I'm doing this. You can't really take something like that and rotate it. Because it's like if you were doing like a shape like, let me do, select this. So like a shape like this. Hit it, stroke. Okay, so if I want it do this and I want it in a rotated I have to actually make it and then rotate it so I'm just gonna select it so I have two different versions and then I can rotate it so if you want need something that's rotated, you'd have to select it flat ways and then rotate it to get what you want. So if I wanted to curve that curve like that, I just copy that and and paste it. Then I can take other th parts of a line. Let's see. And use it. Let's see if I want to go with the curve right here. It has to be in an angle like that. Okay. It. So you can assemble lines like that to make artwork. See? I'm going to go with the one touchdown and over. So I can make it look like I'm actually doing nice smooth lines and build up stuff from what I'm doing here. Like right here, I don't want that. I just want this part. So I can take this off where I'm trimming it right here is where I can see that this other line ends and delete that. So now it's like one line. But it goes where I want it. And if I want to 
make this curve more going down. I just select the, the area here and get this right here. And let's say if I want that to drop fast, I just don't select this. I just select this. Copy. It face and then hide this and then move this where I want it like if I want it right in there then I can trim it well that would be wrong And then trim this other line, so I have to find the line, which I could do like this, and right click. It's on layer number six, like layer six. Now I can check it. Yep, that's the line I want to erase. And right here, I might want to fix it, make it curve a little more. So I can do that by hand. And trim by hand. Oops. Well, keep doing that. Go with a hundred percent. And then I think that other layer was this one. Looks a little messed up there. Needs more area right here because it looked like it's cut off too much right there. That looks smoother. Do that again. This right here is effect, but this navigation window, I can actually use it on the newer Photoshop. And this version had to be pulled out and resized so I can see it, but then it gets in the way. But this would help me see more like what it looks like when it's zoomed out. It gives me an idea. This looks like this area right here could be dark, but it could be the screen. It's, it's not like you can control that. Because the screen is not just the, the pixels of the artwork. It's pixels of the screen too is being affected by it because you got a res screen resolution and the screen resolution has pixels. 
So one pixels of the screen affects the pixels of the the art. So if you're zoomed in, you can see these pixels. But when you're zoomed out at 100%, they should be like double click here and that's 100%. Right there is 100% view. But if you go out farther, some of these lines can fade out because they don't fit the pixels on your screen. So I'll just do this. Z show it zoom out. And anyway, that's how you can use these uh, use stroke to create lines. And now I'm just going to do something different. New layer. And then use the pen tool. This pen tool. As you could draw a shape. But there's the lines. Let's see. It's like this. You can do whatever you want with it. But you create it like this. So I'll do undo. Step back. And then hide everything and start with a new one. And uh, this I'm going to go with the reverse this and go with the color so I want these control handles and then I want to curve the lines around just clicking on areas and then I can close it by double clicking or just click. Now I got a closed shape. That's what you want is a closed shape. And then I got to try to get the, let's see, hit it, undo. It's been a while since I used this. See, so add anchor, free transform pin, convert paint point tool. Let's see if that's it. Okay, I double clicked on it. Now I can drag these around. Yeah, I'm trying to grab the handle. And it's just not moving the dot. Trying to move the dot. Right now I can only control the shape. Because it keeps selecting every time I hit the middle. It does that. So I guess there's another one that lets me move. Yeah, add an anchor. Nothing that's showing that you can move the anchor. Moving the anchor would be what you want. This, but controlling that, that was not what I wanted. Let's see if I can do it with this tool. Nope, just the whole thing. Well, anyway, once you have a shape, you can use layer options and do a stroke and flip these colors around. This is an that wasn't it. That was a mask. Undo mask.
this F right here. That's the styles. Now we go with the stroke and the color of the stroke is red. We want to make a black line. And it says three pixels, so now we if we move the lines yeah. it changes the stroke see if it Okay, that moves it. Well, that's not right. Didn't want that one. I wanted this one. There it is. So you can add more to it. And apparently you can free transform the points so if you want to do animation you can do move these around and do the animation right click here free points nope that isn't Have to be selected. Anyway, this is something that you can use the pen tool to do artwork. It's uh, more or less. Uh, vector art type stuff so you can fill in the middle you can paint in the middle and it's probably something you can't do in vector art let's see Let's see if I can color in it. Nope. Can't brush inside. Anyway, the only other way you can do it is to f just use layer the layer options to do shadows and bezel and boss. So in the this right here is a picture showing the, that, and this is the direction of the light. Move this around for the direction of the light. So if you want that to look like that, you just do that. Then you can edit that. And see, opacities screen depth size so you can see it it's affecting it depth opacity then you get satin 
this right here is showing the shape of how the the look is supposed to be like you want the edge to look curved or concaved or outward curve like that depends on the, the shape you want along the edge see that would be curved that would be flat that would be doubled and that would be like three ways in it but that's the shape of the edge so it could look like that you can do invert so the effects would be the same just that how the sides look because of the shape you're selecting here like this is a real rough area around the edge is pointy not curved that's curved concaved around the sides kind of curved that controls it and then you got color overlay this is uh, overlays the color so no matter what color it is it's layered over it see how much color or influence it has the color so that's basically how they work the pen tool save changes nope file new I'm more or less doing this to test the recording because I'm trying to get this to clear up to make it better picture So I'm playing around with all these settings on it. But when I want to make something that, like if you want to do something from real life, you pick something simple, start with something simple. You don't get into, oh, I want to do this really complicated thing because it looked really cool. <laughs> you start small. Like... Uh, see here i want to pick a brush that fills in the area it is better to fill in the area so that you're sort of like got this full okay that's yellow i don't want yellow i get 100 percent fill it in and then then the brush needs to be shortened because these jagged lines I don't like these jagged lines so go with brush shape hardness space that's where it smooths out so the effects change like this those effects changes the brush for flow this would take less flow to go around like if I undo brush and go with the lower flow you can see that how it's doing that if you want that effect that's how you would get it get these little rough areas that like loops and stuff And then, so, but that effect would be show and fade more than this because this is like solid fill almost. Because it's, it's close. It's overlapping so many times faster. Okay, step back. Step back if I can and step back and then I want to fill in this area this is like 
I'm thinking more like a, a hazelnut. So I'm getting the basic shape of like a hazelnut. It's been a while since I've seen one, so I might be wrong. Okay, now I'm going to trim. Get this and trim here. They like have a point. I guess this actual shape not that important because it can be edited. Because when I'm done and I don't see a shape that I want that looks right, then I would just trim it. And then I get close up. To trim it to make sure that it's not rough like this is so basically I got a shape it's filled in so it's not gonna be like I'm painting glass right now so now I just get a soft brush make it the size I need get the color I want to fill in with uh, let me see like in between this and that. So I'm going to mix the color. Oops. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't see anything happening here. Unless it's in, it's not inverse. This brush. Oh, this is a eraser. That's why. Okay. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, and now I'm going to go with this little bit. That's a little bit of the color. Maybe a little bit of red in there. Now pick up this color right here. Yeah, maybe a little more red. Pick up this color here. Now it's a little more red. And then uh, I guess darker around the sides. There. And then the Hazelnut has like streaks in it. That would be kind of hard to do. Or draw streaks. So I'm going to do another layer. So if I make mistakes, I just have to do them again. Then I can fade out whatever I make. So I pick up, wait a minute, I pick up this color. If I was actually looking at a hazelnut, I'd probably not like this. Oops, that was too much gray. There. A little more red. That's too much red. Right here would be about right.
in a way, this is just like a a sketch, um, playing with it, not actually doing anything with it. Edit, undo brush. Low flow. Oh, that isn't exactly right, because that was, like, the shell is only striped it's, and looks that way, but it's not, that, that would look like texture. Uh, wait a minute, undo that. That looks more like texture. instead of having it all right so what i want to do here would be to make this look more like it's shaped smoother and this is just an image the colors in the the shell so i have to make it look smoother and not like that so i get a big brush so i can round off the sides to get that shape. And then this makes it look round. And then need to get that shape because uh, maybe that was too much. That was 2% or maybe I'm, I don't know how to get it without this adjusting this spacing so I adjust the spacing out a little bit oh yeah let's do another shade a lighter color now that looks more like what I want Then the hazelnut has the back end. So I just maybe do this. Start a new layer. And get some colors mixed together here. Now just go with the heavy flow. Then different brush. Ooh, that was too much. It'll be a light area around here. Oh, not that light. It's probably darker. Go with a dark line through here. Maybe even a black line. That looks more like it.
to be honest, it's been a long time since I've seen Hazelnut. I just thought it would be uh, alright to something simple to draw. Of course, you have to know the subject in order to get it right. So, this would be light through here. For the glare. Um, there. Now we have sort of like hazelnut. That was something simple. So if you actually see a hazelnut, and that would be something simple because it's like one little item. Like I go out in the yard and I see, let me merge this down. So now I can get rid of it, hide it. So when I'm going around the yard and looking at stuff, and I say, well, this would be simple to draw. And it'd be like, it could be anything. Just something you see is kind of simple. And after you get enough simple little things, let's see, like a remote control. I'm looking at a remote control right now. It looks complicated because all the buttons on it. And there are things that could be easier than that. But after, well, let me see. I got a screwdriver. Okay. So the screwdriver is, uh, I mean, I'm going to have to fill in the area for the screwdriver. New layer. And this is, step back. Okay, so I have that, and let me zoom out and see if it'll, nope, it won't fit on the page. Maybe if it's like, the handle is this long. And the shaft, let's see, the size of the shaft. That looks about straight, so that's the shaft. I'm doing perspective, so I'm making the back bigger it undo that was a little bit too much still too much just a fraction bigger okay so this is uh, sort of the shape. And I can edit this handle, but I need to make this area right here like this. And then it curves 
like this. Uh, if I do this too big, I'll just have to change, grab a hold of this and rescale it. Now I'm going to use the shift and make a straight line. Actually, it's not straight. Go with a, a curve in a in it. Now it looks too fat. Um, goes the other way. I don't know which brush this is. That's a blurry brush. So, I'll just hold shift and tap spots around it and get it curved a little bit. Is on and off. Is if it's take off too much, put more on. It's all about editing the shape. And that's curved out more. Okay, now, I guess I can start on it and then crimp it up when I finish. So the end of the handle is yellow. Start a new layer. Select this and then uh, select the area where it's like curved here but it's not curved a lot here because it's like a three-sided handle and the selection I can add more to it when it's trim and too much. Oops, that was the wrong way. I want to add. Jeez, this is yellow. It's about this color yellow. It's kind of lighter. Let's see if this is lighter. Uh, too light because too much flow. Thought this oh that was that was not the brush I needed. That was history brush. That was removing the color.
Okay, it's kind of pale like that. But it's got shading on it and stuff. Oh no, that's not it. it no wonder it's changing fast. Still set on 100%. Seems like there's a little bit of color here. It's not completely black. This flow is causing ripples, so it needs to be more than three to help out or make it smoother. So I'm, you can't see it, but uh, what I'm working with, because this is in real life, that flow might be a little bit too much right now. Okay, I'm not drawing all the details of the messed up stuff, so now I'll just start a new layer do another part of it and put it underneath because I want this to overlap so now I do it the a gray through here I want more flow because I want the change more. Now less flow because I'm going to draw and smaller lines. Actually I need a shade right through here. It's a little darker. And then pick up this lighter color and see if I can get it through here. I'm a little bit wavy on that. Hold shift get straighter line let's let me get it more detailed let's try a nine here And then blend this in through here. Let's get some darker area. Yeah, that was too much. Fade. No need to, to take it all out. Now it's like a dark patch is smaller. It's right here. It's like it is black. And go through here. And 
Use a water brush through here. So now I have another rib down here. black following behind it. And looks like another rib right behind it. Be smaller brush. There's less space to work with. I guess I got that color. Make sure. I'm not wearing my glasses, so it looks a little blurry to me. So that is basically what the handle shaped like. And then there's this divot here. And another divot here. Maybe this brush isn't the right to get that. Go with the smaller brush Go around the rim. Yeah. Hit it. Undo. Zoom in so I can draw better. Okay. And no, that's not what I want. Okay, this is like a solid. Uh, shape here and then there's another like oval shape it's a little bit bigger through here and it's got a highlight And there's a mid color right through here. And this is shaded up in here. So now I got more yellow to do. 
right through here. And let's see. I can fill it in. So start a layer over top of that and get a brush like this and just fill in the area with that yellow. And I can trim it later. It's like this. It was smaller. This right here is showing some of the like transparent stuff, almost like a ghost. So I want to fill it in good. Not partly fill. Then it be like painting a ghost. And this. this and this is curved like that and this goes back farther up here but there's showing signs where it's not there so now I can do this with the eraser and trim this part right here okay that's the shape of it and um, if I select it then it would be messed up so make sure that I get all this filled. No holes in it. It undo that. So basically that's what this screwdriver looks like except it's a little more curve here so this would be a good time to add that curve just a little more and I think I can't really use this selection tool because it's not going to be like that it's not like that it's rotated but it's basically like that and then I just make a new layer edit fill and then unselect it and rotate it. I'm gonna hide this yellow here edit retransform so it's rotated And like that. Now I just select th this and trim, select the inverse. That's to trim it. There. 
and then select this and trim this. Oh, wait a minute, that's undo. Select inverse. Actually, has a little bit more than I needed, but I can make some changes. Let's see, eraser and and trim through here more. And fill in here because so, it wasn't in that shape there. And this curve wasn't that much of a curve. There. Now I can see the edges. Don't want to see them because it's not black there. Or I can just trim. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Now. Select this and trim that. Yep, there's some of that there. Trim off that layer. So I can get rid of that one now. So now I'll just make this part look right. Uh, select. And I could probably pick up some of those colors from the back to make sure that it's about the same. Uh, pick up this shade right here and go through here oh wait a minute undo brush I'm not on the layer that I want this that's not it that's the layer I want to paint on well, that's a little bit too heavy, 100%. Get this much right here. Be a little bit easier to work closer up. And... Looks like it could use a little more red through there. So I go with the lower flow. Because I don't want the color too much. And I want to go with the bigger brush.
in this shade here. Darken this. That looks like a brown. There. So it's a blend right here. Now I get a, a lighter yellow for the rim through here. Try this. That puts a sharper edge on it. Looks like I might have to take some of it off too. I'm picking up colors cause to help blend in here. Actually, this right here Needs to be darker anyway. Need a softer brush. And then blend in this sharp edge. Now, let's see what we got. Of course, this edge right here could be edited. I need to have more color here. So, four would be good. Just pick up this color and go with 100%. Bring this out. And use the eraser and trim through here and this needs trim through here this has a little bit of a curve here Uh, I think I might have to trim underneath. Okay, so that's basically what that looks like. And this right here looks like it could be blended in. So what is this? That's the one. Too big. Oh no, that's too much. Hit it. A new brush. I guess it's about right. 
Got to get that little shade darker here. Now the shaft. And I don't want it to be on top of that. It'd be all right to be on top of that. But I think I'll go underneath. So now the shaft is more like this. So go with 100% to fill it. And then it's got a highlight right down through the middle. So you get all this the right color. And it looks like it could be lighter. Go with make sure that I got the right brush. This is barely noticeable, but it looks like it's lighter. So that's what I did. Made it lighter. Let's see the right size brush. Uh, that could be that. Go a little bit smaller. And then go with this color see how much this does then go with a smaller brush see right there and down there and then smaller Go stronger. Go with the little bigger. Bigger but faint. And less than that. Try to get it blend in. There, now I'll get a smaller one. That was, flow is fine. It looks like a really sharp line. So, get that line right and with bright light. So that's that part and I can trim after I'm done and I just want to get the tip on it the tip brought about like this color right through here see if I can draw it up Uh, 
it's messed up a little bit on the tip because the chrome is off of it Now just trim I think I just drew that on the main part That's okay Let's see So there, I just drew the screwdriver. Just need to get the bottom side darker. So there is something simple. And the more you do, the more you learn. Or it's the experience that counts. As if you work really hard on complicated stuff, it's not as easy. So it takes longer. And when you're learning, you need more artwork. No, not like one that's really great. You want a lot of little stuff that you can do. And that helps your art because you get more experience. And if you take too much time doing anything, it's just loses as part of your experience. That's what you need to get more experience. Let me see. Filter, blur just a little bit. I could probably go around this with the eraser and 
get this really rough edge off. There. Maybe even add to it right here. Well, that's a soft brush. And I do. One thing about a lot of these things like this is when you're working, you can zoom in and where it's really bad looking, you can fix it. Like right here, this this part is what I'm working on. So I go there, go on a layer below it, add a new layer, and pick up this, you know, pick up this color right here and then fill it in here to make this edge look better see it's where it's blended in I'm not going over it I'm just adding the shape better making it smoother by at going outward and then pick up this color here smooth this out here it looks like this flow is a little bit low there that's filling it in better and this needs to be darker darker Ah, I see. There's a light edge on it. So, go with the smoother. lower flow there now I can get the edges and blend them in better As this is on top you, you can mess up the top unless you go on a layer above that and edit everything So now I got the layer underneath that smooths it out and I'll just merge it down. Then I can use the eraser to trim up close. Oops, that's this needs to be trimmed off around here. Make sure it's on the other layer. <coughs> See, you got, I got a nice smooth curve there. So, because I went in the zoom, but 
you need more experience so you you go with a lot of smaller stuff just pick small stuff to draw and that way you get done faster you you can see how long it took me to do this and that means that I just got more experience because this was something that I experienced and the more experience the better you get and if you spend all your time on one picture for months you're not getting much experience you're just doing more so I guess that's enough for now still testing videos to try to make the quality better